I'm going to demonstrate here a, a, pro, a, a method of making splits, rammed black powder, time fuse, um, the old Italian way. And this way is new to me. There's, a, so, there's some differences in this process that I picked up over in Thailand. If you watched the videos, Paul's videos, my videos, any of the videos from Thailand, there's a mosquito. Um, You'll see that Alfredo Martello came and, and demonstrated making a shell. And one of the tips, tricks I saw him employ was the way he makes splits. It's a very efficient way of making splits that I really liked and I wanted to incorporate into my processes when I got back home here, back into my shop. And I thought I'd demonstrate that because uh, it is a little bit different than what I've demonstrated in the past. I have two split rammers. Um, a flat-ended one and one with a tip on it, a quarter-inch long pointed tip on it, like similar to what uh, Falconelli shows in Falconelli 1. I have a split tube, and the split tube, if, it's, if, if the rimmer's bottomed, bottomed out on the split tube, the split tube comes to this red line, the very last red line on the rimmer, and similarly, if the, the end of the split tube is lined up with the tip of the pointed rammer, the top of the split tube comes right to the first red line. So each line after that indicates that I have rammed an additional one quarter inch of powder in the split. Let's say I want to make a one inch long timer. Um, that's going to be scratched one sixteenth inch dip deep on the outside and this rammer will create a one quarter inch deep um, hole indentation depression on the inside of the spillet powder grain. That uh, really helps transfer fire very positively once, it, once the spillet burns through to the, the pointed bottom of that depression in the powder grain. So if I want to make a one inch timer, I want to ram a quarter, a half, three quarters, one, and then plus one sixteenth for the outside um, scratch I'm going to put in there. I want to ram to one sixteenth inch past this second red line. I have used uh, paint pens to mark red, blue, green, yellow, red, blue, green, yellow lines the depressions, the lines, the scratches, the grooves on my spillet rammer. I've marked with colors to keep track of them. So I want to ram one inch plus a sixteenth of black powder in here. I'm using Meal D. I could use 4FG. I could use 7FA. They're all very similar powders. First thing you do is just on a scrap piece of paper I put a pile of the black powder. Naturally I'm doing this away from any sources of ignition. I've got nothing else exposed anywhere that could be set off. Alfredo holds the rammer, in, if he's right handed, he is right handed, holds the rammer in his right hand, I'm sorry, holds the, the mallet in his right hand with the rammer held like that. And he takes the first increment to get it slightly consolidated, takes a split rammer, presses it down into the pile of black powder, and just goes like this a few times. That has now loosely consolidated a little over one eighth inch of the black powder there. Then I've got a slightly dampened sponge here. He used a slightly dampened rag. He just touches the end of that black powder onto the um, slightly dampened uh, sponge or rag and when this is rammed now that slight dampening will make the outside of this powder grain extremely extremely rock hard. He does not hold the rammer like that though. He's, he holds the tube and allows the rammer to sort of bounce in there and he's using very relatively light taps almost like a jackhammer. And that has consolidated a one eighth inch increment of the black powder in there. The outside where it was dampened is just glass, porcelain, rock hard there. Pulls the rammer out, keeps it in that hand, and he introduces another pinch of the powder 
with his finger like that, never letting go of the splat tube, never letting go of the rammer or the mallet. That's brought it up to slightly less than a total of a quarter inch, and he just keeps doing that. I'm now at about three eighths, a little less than three eighths. So basically I'm introducing about about enough powder to consolidate an additional one eighth inch of powder grain in there. Never letting go of the tube, never letting go of the ballot, never letting go of the rammer creates a pretty efficient, rapid ramming of the spillet. And like I said, I'm shooting to go because I want a one inch timer. I'm shooting to go past the second red line by about a sixteenth of an inch. And that's where I am right now. So I'm now done with my solid rammer. The pointed rammer, if I introduce it in there without any additional powder, the pointed rammer is also coming with the red line just past the, about a sixteenth inch past the, that second red line. I want to now introduce about two increments of the black powder. And check and see, yeah, that's, a, that's going to be pretty good. Now when I ram this, the tip is going to go back down to that same place, but I'm ramming black powder around that tip. And indeed, the tip, I, I am about a sixteenth inch past my second red line, which means I've rammed enough powder in there, but I've, I've increased that powder grain around the hollow that the tip creates in order to create nice fire transfer. So the bottom line is once I scratch the outside 1 16th from the, from the bottom of that scratch to the bottom of the hole that tip has created is exactly one inch. I've got one inch of actual timing black powder in there. If I was going to ram more I'd leave this powder out. If I'm done I put the powder away. Now to finish the spillet I've got that depression in there. I've got some thin match that I want to go right down into the bottom of that depression. And that is going in that, into that depression. I can feel that. I clip that off with a couple inches of that match sticking out of the um, uh, spillet tube. Now, one trick that I saw Alfredo do is that he takes and puts a little bit of grain powder. Oh, uh, a, a, uh, he puts about one eighth inch or a one eighth teaspoon or less of grain black powder down into that spillet tube. That additionally helps transfer fire. I don't even want to put quite that much in there, but just a pinch of black powder down in the split tube there like that. Just a little pinch of it in there. Now I've got the thin match going to the bottom of the hole. I've got that little bit of grain powder in there. Now I put some nice sticks of relatively fat black match into the spillet, trimming them off to the same length as the other one. And when this spillet burns between the hole in the powder grain, the black match and that loose black powder in there, there's a mini explosion that happens that really uh, shoots fire into the shell for a very positive ignition. So there I've got loose black match in there, not packed too tight, but it's pretty much filling the hole. 
Now I take some one inch gum tape. I know that about four or five inches will go around that tube twice. And I put a nosing on the end of the spillet. This is this from here on out is the same as uh, any other spillet we've demonstrated. I lap that up about a half inch on the spillet tube, leaving about a half inch hangover. The end of the spillet, make sure all that matches down in there good. Crimp that nosing down around the spillet, put a clove hitch around it, pierce the nosing in two places with an awl to ensure fire transfer. And so that's a spillet made this new way. That it's, it's new for me. I've seen Chuck Tenji do something very similar. I'm sure Mike Swisher and other traditional spillet makers uh, do something very similar. Now to scratch the outside before this would be used in a shell, the outside of the powder grain gets scratched. I want to scratch that very precisely one sixteenth inch deep. Like I say, this is like glass out here from that dampened uh, increment that was ran. I have made a, there's two of those one eighth inch by three quarter inch aluminum bars with a, a little razor knife blade in there. And that tip is sticking out past the edges of that aluminum bar exactly 1 16th inch. I want to very precisely scratch that 1 16th inch deep but no deeper. And this gauge allows me to do that. That's something I sort of came up with. Um, I like the way Paul scratches the outside of his spillet grain with uh, a razor knife tip. So I sort of adapted that with this little jig to create exactly the right depth scratch in there. So now I've got a 1 16th inch depression, one inch of actual uh, powder creating the delay, one quarter inch of powder with the quarter inch hole, deep hole in it, nosed, a little bit of grain powder in there, thin match going down into that hole, and we'll take that out and see how that burns and time it. All right, let's see how this split burns. That was three seconds. That uh, powder is burning three seconds per inch. And I don't know how well you can hear it on the video. This camera sort of deadens sound, loud sounds a little bit. But there's virtually an explosion as that uh, flame is shot into the shell, which really helps ignite the shell violently and powerfully. <laughs> 